Any update on CJ, Coach? CJ went through a full practice. Um, he'll be, he'll still be day to day. You know, we want to see what he feels like tomorrow. Um, see what he feels like after shoot around and go from there. So it feels he, like he's trending in the right direction. He is. He's trending in the right direction. Yes. Were you surprised he was at that point already of like go through full practice? Yeah, I was. Um, but he does a great job of all, all of the off the court work that he puts in and with his PD and with our performance in medical and the treatment that he gets. He, he's really diligent, so uh, it's good to see him progressing. Hey, well, I know it's 20 something games left, but is it, is it already starting to feel like you're in playoff <laughs> mode, kind of just with how close the race is in the West and everybody jumbled up together like that? It's definitely, it's definitely, um, you know, you can feel the, 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 the games being meaningful. You can feel every game that there's, it's high stakes. Um, so it, it's a fun time of year. And uh, you want to put yourself in a position to, to be able to play in the postseason. And for us, it's, it's about taking care of business. Well, do you have any new thoughts on re perhaps after rewatching last night's game on the way it finished especially? Yeah, I do. Um, I felt like, you know, look, don't want to take anything away from Chicago. I thought they came in and they were physical and um, they made plays in the fourth quarter to win the game. But I also felt like um, we, we gifted a game away. And uh, we made just silly mistakes, um, unforced turnovers, and we didn't come up with some, uh, with a few 50-50 balls towards the end, and things like that. Or we have to be better at the simple. That's what that's what our message was to the group. We have to be really good at the simple, and if we are, we walk away with those games with with, with wins. Did you ever think about a challenge? on any of their DeRozan calls. I did. I did. And? Well, we got our group that's watching the computer behind the bench, and they said they didn't think it was a, would have been a good call for me. So, but it's, it's, a, it's tough to, it's tough to, it's tough to referee him. It's tough to guard him. You know, he's, he's doing, like, he's sticking his arms out and, like, seeking contact. It's tough. But all the people who were sitting around me last night were asking me why he gets those calls and Zion doesn't. What was your answer? I told them I didn't know. I was going to ask you. <laughs> I'm asking you. Uh, we, we're all asking ourselves the same thing. Um, I said it last night. I've, I've said it a few times. The consistency for me is the, is the main issue, is that um, if that is a foul, it should be a foul. If they slap down and they hit your arm, it, it should be what it is. And so I, I'm, when I look at the stat sheet and I see DeRozan shoots 14 free throws and Zion only two, that's concerning. That's really concerning. And for us, we, we, we have to continue to um, play through it. We have to acknowledge that we feel like it's happening, but we, we have to play through it. We can't allow it to stop us from going to the next play. And, you know, it's going to make us more mentally tough, but it, it, it's definitely some frustration with that. Really, has it got to a point where y'all have had to kind of address it to the league yet or not send tight to the league? Or? We have. We have. We, we're doing it, you know, consistently after games that we feel there were some, some situations that maybe, that, you know, they need to look at. So we're doing that part of it. Now it's about us not allowing it to affect our play. Really, has it forced you to have conversations with Zion? Maybe figuring out a different way to be effective because if you're not going to get the calls, you're going to have to do something that otherwise is also productive. Yeah, we, we, we're definitely talking about it. And, you know, maybe he needs to do the same thing that James Harden and DeRozan does. I'm not sure, but, you know, he should be getting those calls. And um, we'll keep playing. We'll keep playing. We'll keep staying together. Uh, we, we can't allow it to demoralize us as a team. Uh, but hopefully it changes. Really, how did uh, Brandon respond after being in the lineup for the first time in a while last night? No, he's a little fatigued, third and fourth quarter last night, but uh, it was good to have him back. Good to have him back on the floor. Uh, he made some big plays for us. You know, he also made some mistakes like the rest of the guys, but it was great to have him back on, on the floor with our guys, and, you know, hopefully we can continue to progress. Yeah, he's been today. Like, is he good now? Like, is he yeah, he was good. He oh, went to a full practice, and so he was good to go today. Coach, are you hesitant to burn a challenge unless you feel like it's something that's almost obvious? Yeah, I am. I, 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 you definitely want to be sure about the, the first challenge because it could be early in the game and it could be a simple possession challenge, which 
doesn't take points off the board or point put points on the board or save a file. So with that first one, you want to be as sure as you can um, so that you can get it back and maybe use it for later. Well, are you always kind of relying on those guys behind the bench for that, or are there some times when you'll be like, nah, I'm, I'm overriding this. I'm overriding what they say. I look, I look to them first, and then there's times that I can see it for myself on the, on the big screen. And when I can see it for myself, and, I, and I'm for sure, I'll challenge it. How long does it take for a guy to get that kind of clout in the league? Does it? <laughs> um, it doesn't take long. Um, you know, maybe a couple seasons. So. Well, Coach, a couple of questions. First, how hard has it been to keep your money in your pocket given how hard it is with these <laughs> free throw issues? Um, you guys are just staying on, the, on these free throws right now. I'm trying to keep my money in my pocket. If y'all change the subject. We'll change the topic. <laughs> uh, back to back coming up against the Knicks and the Pacers going on the road. What are the bigger challenges with those two teams? This is the same that we've we've seen the last couple games. The Knicks are a physical team. They execute on both ends of the floor. They're good defensively. Um, we got to bring it on their home floor. Last season we didn't have a good showing there. And then you got Indiana after that. Fast, spread you out, shoot threes. These are going to be two tough challenges for us, but we look forward to them. Having Najee back. Really good for us. We, we Glad to have Najee back. Uh, brings a ton of energy for us. Another one of our big wings that can defend, that can shoot, and that can handle the ball and initiate plays for us. You have a lot of good guys on this team. He seems like he brings a little edginess to it. Do you, you like that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. He does. He brings the edge, and, you know, it's just who he is. And so he's not trying to be anything outside of who he is, but you, know, you got to be careful if you cross that line with him.